channel. Today I'm continuing my Disney Villains Designer Doll reviews and we're looking at Ursula the Sea Witch from The Little Mermaid. As I said with the Queen of Hearts review, this doll was a little controversial because this doll and the Queen of Hearts doll both had some issues with their body type that didn't quite meet the mat or match the animated character. So we'll be taking a look at that. But I think here I'll say again, like I said with the Queen of Hearts review, that with this doll I think it's more of a fashion take, a designer take, not exactly representing the character, but taking the character and putting it on the runway. So let's just start off by looking at her beautiful artwork here by Steve Thompson. So Ursula's motif in this collection is purple, and purple matches a lot of her skin and her outfit. So we'll see purple carried through here. So it says Ursula here, and her tagline is stylish sea witch. Because <laughs> she is the sea witch, you know, that Ariel gets her legs from. <laughs> here it says Disney Villains Designer Collection, and it says the same things up here. So her artwork is very much based on the animated Ursula. Her skin tone is purple, like a light purple. She has white hair that almost reminds you of like powdered wigs. And she has Ursula's golden seashell necklace, seashell earrings. She has dramatic purple makeup that almost, you know, would inspire you of a drag queen, uh, which Ursula was based on Divine, who was a very popular drag queen in the 80s and 90s. And you go down, and this is based on Ursula's black part of her body and her tentacles. So at the top we have this black piece that's very shiny, and it takes her skirt, and I think this is supposed to represent tentacles. Um, so it has purple streams that make up a skirt, and it's really flowy, it goes all the way to the floor. And this is very similar to, to the Designer Bell, Princess Designer Bell doll, where they took a lot of ruching and really pretty fabric and made it into like a pattern. So here, instead of the rose petals, we're getting tentacles. So, and they really do look similar to tentacles whenever we take a look at the actual doll. So, but just looking at her artwork, it's stunning. Down below, we have the black and silver. Looks very spooky. And it says Ursula there on the nameplate, but we will take another look at that in a minute. Here is the side of her box, and it has another view of the Ursula artwork. It just has like a purple overlay on it. And up there it says Disney Store Exclusive, and it has her name and her purple collar there. And it is the same on the other side. Here's the back of her slipcover, and here's where it has more details about the doll in the collection. Up here is the full artwork of Ursula. It's beautiful there. We get to see how long he intended her skirt to be. And it says, Ursula, oh, you poor unfortunate souls. Just try to match the flair and flamboyance of the most stylish witch under the sea. Throwing her weight around in more ways than one, Ursula makes enough waves to overthrow a kingdom. <laughs> so that's very fun. And that's what Ursula wants to do is take the crown. Here it says uh, information about the Disney Villains Designer Collection. This is the same on each one. And down here is the specific Ursula details. So white updo, golden seashell necklace, earrings, bodice, tentacle inspired shimmer mesh dress. Yes, so I can't wait to show you guys that. Purple skin tone, dramatic eye makeup. Down here it has her product information from the Disney store. And then there is her price tag. If, which was $79.50 in 2012. Okay, so now we have Ursula's slipcover off and we can see the doll and the artwork. I honestly think there's not a whole lot of deviations here between the two because it's a very simple and chic way to pull her off and it really translates well in doll form. So they were really thinking ahead with this one. So starting with her face, she does look like Ursula and obviously, right away, you can see that she does not match the body type of Ursula in the movie. But this is someone as Ursula, or um, someone inspired by Ursula. Actually, how I have been able to 
accept this doll more as Ursula um, is that I see her as Vanessa. So sometimes I kind of think, you know, is this Vanessa as Ursula or as she's transforming or something of that nature. But I've, I've heard, you know, myself, I've thought that and then I've heard other people say that about this doll. So looking at her face though, she really does look a lot like Ursula. She has a lot of Ursula's same features. Her makeup is gorgeous and those dramatic high eyebrows. It's very drag, which I love. Um, I love that they carry that over here. Um, she has a little beauty mark there by her lips. Um, her lips are a very deep red purple color. She has purple eyeshadow and black eyeliner on and her eyelashes are long and they are cut at an angle that way it gives her that glamorous effect. Her hair, like I said, looks very powdered wig here. So it's not as crazy as Ursula's. It's actually more kind of refined and contained compared to Ursula a bit, but it's very pretty and it stands out amongst all this purple and black. So it's kind of Mozart, kind of um, powdered wig, um, posh, if you will, <laughs> but it really works. So she has her gold seashell around her neck. This is where she keeps Ariel's voice. And of course, this had to be included in her outfit as a recognizable piece. And on her ears, she has little yellow gold uh, painted earrings, which Ursula also has in the film. In her hand, there is a orb that's gold. And I'm not sure what that's supposed to represent, but I wonder if it's sort of like a sea pearl or like a clutch, like a sea pearl clutch. Um, a lot of the designer princesses have little things in their hands like that, so this might be uh, Ursula's version of that. So the top of her outfit looks like it's leather or leather, a leather-like fabric, and it looks like um, like the top of Ursula's body, like that, um, the, the bodice piece. And it's really well made, it has stitching on it, it's, it's very nice. And it looks like that the dress and the top of this um, uh, outfit is all one piece. So if you were to take this off, it looks like it would be one piece. It, I believe it looks like that it is connected there. So here is the skirt and they, they blended all of these mesh fabrics together to look like tentacles and it's so pretty. Um, it has purple and blacks and blues um, in, in it. Most of it is like a deep, dark, kind of a spooky purple, and they just added in some of that mesh that makes it look all shiny and pretty, but it's all, it goes all the way around. It's huge. So pretty. It's very, very pretty, and it's, it's not tentacles. I mean, it, it's just a skirt, you know, with ruching on it, but they actually made it look like tentacles, and I love it. So, very pretty, and I think that you'd have to see this in person. I, I don't think that the camera is doing it justice, to be honest. <laughs> Down here, it says Ursula on her nameplate, and it has little diamonds there, and you can see the detail of the skirt behind that, that it just goes all the way down, and they didn't cut any corners with the skirt. Here is the back of her box. It says Disney Villains Designer Collection, and it has more artwork of Ursula. Down here, we have her Certificate of Authenticity, and they made 13,000 of all of these, as I did my research and found that out. And I have number 3498 of 13,000, so that's actually kind of in the low end. So, that's wonderful. I got Ursula a couple years ago um, with the others, all around the same time, and I think she was probably the second most expensive one in the line. I paid the most for Maleficent, she seems to be the most popular, but I think Ursula I paid second. So probably 150, closer to 200 for Ursula, and that's probably just because she's a more popular character. Alright everyone, that's all I have to show you here of this beautiful Ursula doll from the Disney Villains Designer Collection. Let me know what you think. And stay tuned for my next doll video in this series, which uh, I only have two more left out of this set to look at, Maleficent and Mother Gothel. So I'll take a look at those. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so I can continue making more doll videos and check out my postings on Instagram and TikTok. Alrighty guys, as always, have a magical day. See you next time. Bye.